Hi, welcome. Happy Halloween. It's Meredith. I am here with our message for Thursday, the 31st of October, 2019. And in keeping with the Halloween spirit, we're using the Santa Muerte deck for our message today. And for you, Rochelle, I know it's your favorite deck. <laughs> Partly chosen in your honor, sweetheart. Okay. Let's get into it. Our card from the bottom of the deck, our potential theme in the day, we have the Two of Cups. Peace, love, understanding, connection, collaboration, and great communication. What a fantastic card to start the day with. It's also a card of uh, partnership in your career, work, how you are of service, and it is a card that indicates a deepening and expanding bond uh, with your beloved. Beautiful card. Let's see what it connects to in the rest of the reading. Our first is the lovers. Wow. What an excellent card to have with the lovers on the table as well. Uh, the lovers is following your heart. Making decisions, making choices, and the feeling I have in the cards this is interesting to me because it doesn't necessarily uh, align with the specific meanings of these two cards, but I feel as though we're receiving information today through the mail, through email. Uh, it could be a phone conversation. Typically something I would see with the Eight of Wands on the table, even though it's not here. <laughs> but I do feel like there's information incoming and uh, it causes us to make way for, make space for, or accommodate something new on our foundation. All right, so you know when we see the lovers, we pick a couple more cards because there is a way that we are habituated to choose when we make decisions. Usually comes out of our belief system our way of being. So we want to know if we're in harmony and alignment with that or if that's something that we want to reconsider or challenge. And we get <laughs> belief systems, right? We get the Hierophant. Excellent. Uh, my feeling is that with the Hierophant present we have unity. We have a weaving of energy. This can be a marriage card with the Two of Cups and the Lovers on the table. There are those of you that this, that, uh, this message will be specifically for. So, could be marriage, could be engagement here. But take it where it's relevant in your world because uh, this feels situational to me. And... Mm, circumstantial as well <laughs> okay so we're going to lean into our belief system with the Hierophant card we're going to look for uh, the unity within our own heart space the choices decisions accommodations before us are they aligned harmoniously for us we're going to run that through our current now belief system and perhaps even through our old belief system to just test our own alignment. And then we also want to see, before I go on, testing our alignment, what I feel is there's a challenge in this for us. There is unexpected accommodation. Something that we thought was simple is a little more complex than anticipated. I also feel some, and I'm not projecting, I'm just simply picking up on the vibe, I feel some anxiety. Uh, you know when you get, you know when you get a little startled, you can feel that energy in your solar plexus, maybe your navel and even your root chakras as well. I feel that kind of startling, anxious vibe. Uh, coming off the, or as a result of the incoming information and how we are going to have to be flexible and accommodate that. 
All right, so this is a card. We're choosing a card for how we're following our heart in this situation. <laughs> Eight of Wands, there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love these cards. I love the tarot. All right. So just what I was saying, uh, I was feeling like we're getting some incoming information. There's a bit of the unexpected within the information. And Eight of Wands is a swift moving communication energy. So this is so fascinating. The energy I feel is that this is something we've held in our heart space for a while. And we're seeing real movement, real action, something tangible with it. We're passionate about it. And my guides are saying it completely upsets the apple cart today. <laughs> so there it is. So let that be a heads up for you so that you can accommodate it and just be flexible with it. It is an eight. You have a super strong foundation. You have what it takes uh, to navigate your way through this situation. And remember, we have peace, love, understanding, connection, great com communication, and unity over here in the two. So we have beautiful energy in which to <laughs> explore our way through this complex circumstance or situation that's unfolding on the foundation today. There's an element of surprise to it. <clears throat> Pardon. So our stable foundation, some of our current beliefs will be supportive to us in how we accommodate whatever it is that's unfolding in choice and decision for us today. Next card. Whew. We have <laughs> two of swords. Okay. Two twos in the reading. This this two of swords it feels like a person to me today. This feels like someone we cross swords with. And this is someone who's got a bit of a sharp tongue. That's the feeling I have there. We may be negotiating with this person today. Or, well, not negotiating, but... Here's some more of that complex energy. Uh, debating, that's what I want to say. Not so much negoti negotiation, because that sounds like somebody's being talked into or out of something. And I feel a debate. I feel also this Eight of Wands is so beautifully placed in the reading. The message here is stay true to your heart. Stay true, period. Uh, do not allow yourself to be swayed from your heart's desire. And this Two of Swords feels distracting. It also feels like an interruption of energy. And... I feel a little bit of chaos. So traditionally in a tarot deck, we'll see a person sitting with swords crossed over their chest, almost in a protective pose, and a blindfold over the eyes. My feeling here is if we were seeing the blindfold, it would be a message of not losing sight of what you hold so dear in your heart, what's true and right for you on your foundation. And if you have a sharp-tongued, individual with a very intense energy coming into your day today and creating a complex situation or circumstance you can you can ponder the the blindfold uh, metaphor in respect to not losing sight for what's most important to you and not being maneuvered off that by anyone next card Four of Wands, yeah, excellent. More stability, more strong foundation, more happiness, joy, bliss, and love. <laughs> I love that we have the Four and the Eight of Wands in the reading. Uh, the Four of Wands is the, ha the happiest card in the minor suit of tarot, in the minor suits of tarot. So when you stick to your guns about what's true and right for you in your heart space, you are soulfully expressing your truth this is the kind of joy and happiness you create and it's all overseen by this beautiful peace love understanding of the two of cups so maintain that center and maintain that focus for yourself today 
if at all possible, if at all required. <laughs> okay, what are we doing next? Mm. Oh, angel answers, but I left them. November readings, so stay tuned. Those are forthcoming. Angel Answers. Fresh reading in the reading. Ask a question if you've got one, or let the cards confirm something for you. Our first card is... <laughs> okay, I've seen the let go card fly by. Twice already in the shuffle. <clears throat> and we have again emphatic success. This card loves us. I think it's uh, the third time we've seen it recently. Success. Yeah. Stick to your heart space. <laughs> I was going to say stick to your guns, but I really mean stick to your heart space. And it creates emphatic success for you. And the happiness found in that Two of Cups and Four of Wands also. You know, if you get startled, and that energy, that startle energy is rolling through your being, take a deep breath, take your shoes off, stand on the ground, get regrounded, because that kind of energy can create a cascade of worry. It has the potential to. And now we have the no need to worry. So... Mitigate all that energy by getting grounded, staying grounded. Put your hands over your heart, take deep breaths, get barefoot on the ground, <laughs> feel the grass under your feet. Collect yourself, that's what I feel. And then our next card is trust. Yeah, trust you. <laughs> I feel another one. Trust the universe. Trust your loving heart. <laughs> and let go. Oh, perfect. Let go. Love that card. All right, our last one, our affirmation from the universe has your back. And we have... When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Yeah, certainty and faith, right in your heart space. Lean into that. <laughs> Changes everything for you. All right, everyone, have a beautiful, beautiful Thursday. Have a super happy Halloween. If you're dressing up, if you are getting into a costume, take a picture of yourself and put it in the comments. We'd all love to see it. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Stay tuned for the November readings. Uh, yeah, they are a lot of fun so far. And have a beautiful day. Bye for now, everyone. Peace.